Yo, before we even get into this video, make sure you guys be a part of the notification gang so you be the first to know when I drop that hot fire. Like I said, hit that notifications up so you can be the first to know. Now, I'm just going to jump right into this topic. So I told you guys that I was going to bring you guys a lot more NBA 2K ideas and concepts, right? So... I'm about to go through a whole series where I'm talking about badges. Badges that need to go, badges that need to be breaking down into other badges, and badges that need to be in 2K18. Now, the first badge I'm gonna talk about, guys, is the Angle Breaker Badge. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you hit that sub button, make sure you like up the video, and if you're new, hit the sub button, and also hit that notification game. Cause you know what I say about my notification game, you guys are always on time shout out to you guys now let's go ahead and get into the video i do not want this video to be long all right so the ankle breaker badge is the most op is badge ever it's so op because the badge goes with the animations if you get the right animations if you can find animations that will lead to an ankle breaker if you got the ankle breaker badge the dude's gonna fall we can see with the momentum behind the back that's that's just true. That's just true. We don't say facts. We say true. That's just the true, bro. That's what it is. If you go to momentum behind the back, um, behind the back normal four or behind the back elite six, the dude's bound to fall. You want to know why? Because that's because of the ankle breaker badge. Now, if we want to change stuff like that, if we want to eliminate the guaranteed crossover falls and all these other spans where you can fall off of they should go back to how they had it in NBA 2K16 and NBA 2K15 that's, yeah, that's where they broke down that ankle breaker badge into seven different badges the badges were killer crossover hesitation stunner spin kingpin step back freeze behind the back pro master of the in and out and also the pet move size up now some of these these badges sounded cheesy as hell but if you think about it like this if you have the killer crossover it wouldn't matter what crossover animation you pick because it's going to be lit that is your move your move is a killer crossover example of that is russell westbrook we wouldn't say he's the dribble god he's an ankle breaker sauce up iso god or whatever you guys call these niggas dribbling the ball now he's not one of those but he does have a nasty killer crossover he catch you slipping you may be on your ass he catch you loafing you may be going to the right when he's going to the left that's just that's just facts that's just true that's all that is it's just true right so this dude got Pat. He got good enough Pat to have a killer crossover. Now, in the game, Russell Westbrook's ankle breaker badge is like a silver, I want to say. If he has one. I don't even know if he has it or not because I really don't play the my team like I used to. But I don't know. I think the last time I checked, it is a silver. Westbrook should have a Amethyst killer crossover badge. And that's facts, all right? If you break him down into this, we can have more unique players with better go-to moves because everybody in the nba got a go-to move is kevin durant a dribble guy no no hell no but he will make you fall if you if he catch you loafing bring the seven badges back you can call the whole category angle breaker badges with an s you can do that and have every and have all these badges fall under that category but having one angle breaker badge is op and it's unnecessary that's 2k being lazy y'all Y'all keep letting 2K be lazy. They're going to get lazier. And with NBA Live dropping their trailer and that trailer being ass, it's only they're only going to get lazier. All right? And another thing I think they should switch up is how you determine the levels. The levels should be determined by your overall, your ball handling or your ball security, whatever they call it now. Ball control, that's what they call it. That's stupid. It should be ball handling should be determined by your ball handling. If you got a zero to a 69 ball handler, the max your badger should be is bronze. All right, so that means people like sharpshooters can get killer crossover, but it's not gonna be that effective because certain builds can get certain number amount of badges. So if you're a glass cleaner, you wouldn't be able to get no ankle breaker badges. If you're a sharpshooter, you'll be able to get like two. If you're a shot creator, you may be get like three. If you are a playmaker, you may be able to give it to five. I wouldn't say get all seven because that's just cheese. That's just like having a damn ankle breaker badge. There's no need. If you can get, if you can get all seven badges, you might as well just throw out that idea and put the ankle breaker badge back. 
All right, that's how they should do it. And then if your overall, your overall dictates the level of the badge. So if you're a 70, do a 79, that's a silver. 80, do an 89, that's a gold. And they might as well spice it up and add another tier. So if you're a 90 to a 95, you'd be an amethyst. And then if you're a 95 to a 99, you should be a diamond. So them niggas out there with their diamond badge will be, let's say you got the step back or the snatch back, like y'all like to call it. It's really called the step back, but y'all like the snatch back. And when you snatch it back, them guys should be falling on their face, right? This will make the game more unique. It will have better go-to moves. We will be our own signature players because everybody in the NBA has a go-to move. Everybody. All right, even Steph Curry and Kyrie, even though they can sauce you up with any move they think about on the court, they still have a go-to move. And this will make us feel more unique and make us feel like we're NBA players. And that's what this game is missing. Having us feel like we are the, in the fucking NBA and not the high school players. All right, so this is your boy, yo, G. If you're new, hit that sub button. If you're old, do just hold like the video. And also, if you're new or old, make sure you got that notification on so you can always be on time, all right? So until the next time, it's your boy, OG, and that's true, and I'm out. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I get out of here, all you little gay niggas, like, I don't have nothing wrong with gay people, but you little niggas talking gay, bro, you got to stop, bro. That that saying niggas smoke dick, that's not cool at all. I don't know where y'all get that from or who y'all got that from. That's not cool. That's not even funny to say. It's not even a cool thing to say. I don't know why you little kids think saying gay stuff is so cool. That's not cool, bro. So cut that out. If you saying that on my channel, it's an automatic block. And that's true. Till next time, it's your boy OG, and I'm out. Peace. Too highly girl to go Hollywood. Uh. Holly Grove, Hollywood, Holly Grove, Hollywood Too Holly Grove to go Hollywood Find out where your parents stay Tell my goons to go straight to your mama room What's in your pockets, what's in your pocket book We think the Bible's a comic book Bitch, this Holly Grove too far from Hollywood Too Holly Grove to go